I've seen quite a bit of confusion about OpenAI API keys, and I thought I might try and clear things up a bit. I don't work for OpenAI, but I wanted to help people out there, other programmers. And so I've got 17 different questions. I've found the answers. Let's go through them. Question one, how can I get an OpenAI API key? Fortunately, this is straightforward. You create an account at openai.com. You click on your profile image in the top right hand corner. You go to view API keys to create and also delete uh, API keys. And you can also give them names as well, which is a good idea for using separate keys for separate programs and apps that you make. Question two, do I need an API key to use ChatGPT? No, you do not. If you just want to use ChatGPT and get some answers, then go to the web version chat.openai.com and use it. You do not need an API key. You only need an API key if you want to use OpenAI's services within programs that you develop. For example, if you want to use GPT for chat, uh, Dall E for images, or Whisper for uh, transcribing audio. If you want to use those in the programs you develop, then you need an API key, but not just for general ChatGPT web usage. Question three, how much is an API key? Can I get one for free? Eh, kind of. An API key is free, but you are charged credits each time you use it. They give you $5 worth of free credits and they give you a trial period of three months. So if you use more than $5 worth, then you have to start paying. If you use it for more than that first three months, then you have to start paying. So yes, you can use it for free at the beginning, but think of it as a trial up to $5 or up to three months. Note that that three months is from when you open the account, not from when you first starting the API key. If you open the account and then you start using the API key four months later, you will have to pay because you've gone over the three months initial period. Question four, do I need the ChatGPT Plus subscription to use the OpenAI API? No, they are separate things. You do not need ChatGPT Plus to use the OpenAI API. The OpenAI API is just for developers, developing programs. ChatGPT Plus is a subscription for anybody to use the OpenAI web service, the web version of ChatGPT with the extra features. So they are two separate things. Question five, if I get an API key, can I use GPT-4? Not necessarily. GPT-4 is only available to developers who have put in their credit card details and have been charged at least once. So if you get an API key and you're using the $5 free credits or you're using the three month free trial, you can only use GPT-3.5 Turbo. Once you put in your credit card details and they charge the card, then you're able to use GPT-4. Question six. I am paying for ChatGPT Plus. Can I use GPT-4 in the API? No. Again, they are separate things. If you're paying for ChatGPT Plus, great. You get the extra features in the web version of ChatGPT, but it's nothing to do with the API. And again, if you want to use GPT-4 in the API, you have to have put in your credit card details and been charged at least once. Question seven. Do I need to have a credit card to get an API key? No, you do not. If you create an account and you get an API key, you do not need to put in your credit card details at that point. You can still use it up to that first $5 of free credits or up to the end of that three month initial trial period. Beyond that, if you wanna keep using the API, then yes, you do have to put in your credit card details, but not right at the start. Question eight, how many API keys can I have? You can have 25, 25 API keys, and you can give them all individual names. So I recommend setting up a different API key for each app or project that you work on. Question nine, and we're over halfway. How can I set a spending limit for my account? You go to manage account, billing, usage limits, and there you can set both a soft limit and a hard limit. The hard limit is like the maximum spending for the account and you won't be able to use the account if it hits that limit. The soft limit is where you'll just get notified if you hit that amount. And so that's really useful for just giving you advance notice that you're getting close to the, the hard limit. Incidentally, OpenAI does set its own hard limit for each account. I think it might be $120 at the moment, although it may vary per account. And you can request an increase to that if you need to. Question 10, will OpenAI tell me if I get close to my spending limit? 
Yes, because there's that soft limit. So if you set that to just below your hard limit or even maybe half of your uh, hard limit, then yes, you'll get a notification from OpenAI that you are getting close. Question 11, can I set a spending limit per API key? No, you can't. You can only set a spending limit for the account as a whole. And again, you do that by going to manage account, billing, usage limits. Question 12, how can I see how many credits I've used? You can go to manage account, usage, and there you can see how many credits you've used on a daily basis and also for the month. Question 13, I'm using the API, but I get a 429 error. What's that? It's a rate limit error. So basically you've maxed out your account somehow. It happens uh, in a couple of ways. One could be that you are on a free trial and you've used up the initial $5 free credits, or it could be you've hit the hard limit for your account. To fix it, there are a couple of things you can try. If you're on the free trial, then put in your credit card details so that you can be charged and then continue using the API. If you've passed the free trial, then you've hit the hard limit, so you need to increase that limit or just wait until the next month when the limit resets. Question 14, we're doing well. It says my credits expired or I exceeded my quota, but I've only just started using the API. I've seen quite a few people talk about this and there are usually a couple of reasons. One is that you opened the account more than three months ago and you've just started using the API. The API is free only for the first three months when you open the account, not when you start using the API. So yeah, you've got to start using the API as soon as possible really when you open the account because those three months will go by and then you can't use the API key for free anymore. The second reason that I've seen this problem is that somebody's opened an account connected to a phone number with an existing account. So you can have more than one account, but you only get the free credits and the free trial with one phone number. So if you've already got an account connected with a phone number and it's used up its trial period, if you open a new account, you can't get any more uh, free trial or free credits. Question 15, when using the API, do you get charged for the prompt as well as the response? Yes, you do. In your program, you will send the prompt, you'll send the request, to open AI, you'll get back the response and the total of those two things, input and output, is what you will be charged for. Uh, as a rough guide, 1000 tokens is about 750 English words and I recommend checking the openai.com slash pricing page to find the latest price per token depending on which model you're using. Question 16, we're nearly there. Do API keys expire? No, they don't expire. You can delete them, and that's a good idea for any keys you're no longer using. Uh, however, API keys may stop working in some situations. For example, if you're on the free trial and you use up that initial $5 of free credits, then the API key will stop working. If you're on the free trial and three months have passed since you opened the account, then the API key will stop working. And if you've reached the hard limit for your account, then the API keys will stop working. And the last question, can I get more free credits by creating a second account? Ah, sneaky, but no, they've already thought of that. Each account is connected with a phone number. So if you create a new account with the same phone number, then you will not get the free credits. You will not get that three month free trial. If you want those free credits, you have to create a new account with a new phone number that hasn't been used for an OpenAI account before. So that wraps it up. I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, I really recommend the forum at community.openai.com. That's where I got some of these answers and they've got very helpful people there who can answer your questions. Thank you for watching.